Hey dolls, it's your girl Jazzy J. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey girls. So if y'all hear this sound in the background, it is my fan. I cannot cool down for nothing. It is the second day of summer and I can't seem to cool my house down enough. So y'all please bear with your girl. So as y'all can see by the title, I want to talk about how YouTube has changed my life. How I've been able to make money with some big brands some small brands how I've been able to do all these things while being a small creator and most of these brand collaborations I received before I even got to 1k subs so if you're interested to hear how I've been able to do these things as a small creator make sure you keep watching and let's get into it All right, so y'all see we're not in our normal filming space. Summer's out, kids are out, they're everywhere. So I had to squeeze myself in my closet to do this video for you. So let's jump right into it. So if you have been watching me from day one, my YouTube story started out with me doing business videos. It was May 2020 when quarantine was hitting everybody harder than we could ever imagine. And it was the same time that I had literally just opened an online boutique. It was the hardest thing to get through. Not being able, you know, people wasn't buying fashion because we were stuck inside. So trying to sell those items was so hard. But that's where my YouTube journey started. So I started doing teaching videos, behind the scenes. Uh, showing everybody what it was like to start a business and sharing resources but when that business crashed for your girl it crashed it fell I gave that up but I didn't want to get rid of YouTube I literally was starting to be in love with creating content so when I first started it wasn't about monetary gain for me like I really didn't even I heard that you could make money but it really wasn't why I started it. For me, it was to bring more insight to my business. I felt like if I shared my story and show everybody the products and talked about it, that it would drive more traffic to my business. <laughs> but it didn't. So again, once that failed, I didn't want to stop this. And then everybody was like, you know, you can really make money on YouTube. So I kind of had to go back to the drawing board and think about it. What do I really want to do? So I was always in love with fashion. That comes very easy. So I decided to start doing fashion based content. And at this time I still hadn't reached 1k subs. I was literally, you know, maybe getting 100 to 200 views. So I did a sit down video and explained to my viewers that I'll be switching over to doing fashion and that I hope that they would join me. And they did. So when I started doing fashion videos, wow. My views was reaching 1K, 2K, 3K. I was getting a ton of views. And my subscriber count was starting to grow. So for me, niching down helped grow my channel way fast. Even though I, I was niched down before in just business content. But it, it, it wasn't a big following. But once I niche down to fashion only, it grew really quickly. And at this time, so I, I've been on YouTube, you see, this year, May 2024, three years. So I really didn't get serious about YouTube until maybe a year later when I decided to switch everything over to fashion content. And that was the best choice I could have ever made, y'all. It really did change my life switching over from business to fashion. So if you're starting out on YouTube, play your hand at different niches. I don't know, somebody's texting me, y'all. Turn this down. I apologize. Turn it down. Okay. So try your hand at different niches until you find something that resonates with your viewers, but it's still something that you love doing because you don't want to do something that you don't love doing. And once my business failed, I didn't feel like teaching no more because I had failed. And I was like, what can I teach? I wasn't successful. So when I started doing fashion, it's my first love. So it was so much easier to create that type of content. All right, so I got my little notebook here. 
I'm going to tell you guys how I was able to get these brands to find me. I didn't reach out to them. They found me. And how I was able to get collaboration, sponsored content before I even reach 1K subs. So we're going to talk about it and I'm going to go through my notes. So the first thing I wanted to do out the bat was just be my authentic self. Like I, the funny, the silly... And they say that, you know, brands don't like for you to, you know, swear on your channel. Baby, I was cussing and doing everything else. And But because my work was really good quality and I was honest. I gave the truth whenever I did, you know, fashion hauls. Rather it was good, bad, or ugly. And, you know, I always thought that because I'm older on YouTube. We're not going to discuss how older. <laughs> that I wasn't going to be able to get these collaborations I wasn't even looking for these collaborations I just wanted to share my love of fashion with my followers because people always stop me and ask me family friends can you put some looks together for me how do you wear those you know crop tops and wear plus size I can never get mine to look as good as yours so people trust me and they always ask me for advice so I really wasn't looking for a collaboration you know I wanted to make money but I really didn't know how you know I didn't I had no idea so I wasn't searching for the collab I was just hoping that you know monetization would come after I reach 1k and that I would start making money off of views all right and then another challenge that I thought you know would get in the way is you know being plus size on YouTube I was so afraid to show up in front of the camera because I'm gonna go ahead and put it out that your girl is over 200 pounds I have a belly thighs <laughs> everything and I'm very confident but it's different when you're putting yourself out in front of two three four thousand God knows whoever watching your videos and that was always a challenge you know showing up in front of the camera you know trying on clothes getting the backlash because I was a plus-size woman but guess what I haven't had not one why well, did okay oh, oh I did have one one negative comment out of the three years I've been on YouTube some guy said um i guess i had too much belly in one of my outfits that i needed to go to the gym but if anybody knows me during that time period your girl was heavy in the gym and i kind of commented back like sir the gym doesn't do it for everybody some people have medical conditions that kind of makes it harder for them to lose weight and at that time i was struggling as you can see with thyroid issues and depending if you're hypo or hyper you can gain weight and it's a struggle to get it off so I kind of messaged them back like you should really think before you speak because you don't know, you know, what may be causing that person to, you know, have some weight on them. And I go to the gym three days a week and then I blocked them. And it did make me feel some type of way, but I kept it moving because I wanted to show up for other women that look like myself. And we're not going to let one bad apple make us feel a certain type of way about our body. So that pushed me to go even harder, even further, show my gut, show my thighs, show my back. I was going to put it all out there. And if you didn't like it, keep it moving. Um, okay, so I already went over my confidence. And don't let fear get in your way. So, just show up. If you're looking for brands to want to reach out to you, them seeing your confidence on that camera, a lot of them prefer to work with small influencers anyway because they feel like our reach is a lot higher. Our engagement is a lot higher than some of the big YouTubers. And the big YouTubers are asking for a lot of money a lot so they prefer to work with somebody who they can you know negotiate pay a little less but you know it, it's the growth process we're gonna get there all right so for me doing fashion content I didn't even realize I just had a shopping fetish child but in order to make those fashion videos it took money to make money so even if you're doing wigs you got to buy your first wig you got to tag that brand so they can see you. You know what I'm saying? So it takes money to make money. Fashion is very expensive because when you're doing hauls, it takes more than three to four pieces. Sometimes I could get away with that, but it takes a lot of pieces. Three, four, five hundred dollars to do those hauls. Just so you could tag that brand, you know, and get them to see you. So do keep that in mind. If you're looking for collaborations, a lot of the time, you will have to kind of like already buy something and then tag that brand. 
But a lot of the brands that I work with, I never knew them. I never bought anything from them. They just saw my work and thought it was good, I'm guessing. And then they reached out to me. Tighter brands, they have to be able to find you. So you want to make sure in every video, all your social platforms, that the brands have a way to reach out to you. At first, when I first started, I didn't have a business email. I just shouted out like, find me on Instagram, you know, but later on I found out I need to have a way for these brands to reach out to me. So I make sure in my description box every time I list for collabs, business inquiries, email me. On all my social platforms, email me. So that is how I was able to be reached is through my email. About 80% of the time, uh, every blue moon, I'll get a DM from Instagram. But most of my collabs come straight from my email. Get an email just for business inquiries. Look at that, y'all. You need my notes. Put your email in your profile. And make sure you guys utilize link in bio on every video. Make sure they know. If you want to reach me, if you want to talk business, check out the link in that bio or my email in the description box. Honey, find me, call me. Let your description box be your resume for potential businesses. You know what I'm saying? Put down there, you know, when you do, say, fashion videos, I only really could talk about fashion videos. Make sure you're listing, you know, in there that you're looking for business collabs. Tag their products, because if they see like, hey, she's sharing my product anyway, people are liking the video. She has a lot of great views. The engagement is heavy, you know, in her comments. This is who we want to work with. So, some of the brands that I've worked with, I got a list. And this is all under 1K subs, y'all. So, let's talk about it. I keep a list of who I work with each year. I keep a list of how much we negotiated on prices. I keep a list of the things they require me to do, like shorts, dedicated videos. I keep a track of all of that. So, I have worked with... Lopora Hair, Hasea, which is a bra company, and it is the biggest video on my channel. It has the most engagement, the biggest views, and to this day, I did that video 2022, and it is still bringing in all the views. I did collaboration with You Nice, Fatu, and y'all, I worked with Timu before the world knew who Timu was. And I was a small creator. I was doing Timo videos. I was sharing Timo. People are like, what in the hell is Timo? What is that? They wasn't even working with any of the big influencers yet. And I had been working with them for a long time. I worked with them for a few years. Until I pulled out. Which I've already discussed that before in my vlogs. So we're not going to go there now. I worked with Micah's X Plus Wear. Let's InStyle. Uh, let's see. I work with um, Fermu, Lily Ease, Chic Me, and Unicorn. What is that? Unicorn Cosmetic. Y'all bear with me. <laughs> Try to hear if I get through this because I'm burning up. So I. That's just the name of few child. I have worked with a lot of brands that I have never reached out to. I think it's a great idea to reach out to these brands. You know what I'm saying? And I have a list of brands that I want to work with this year. And I am going to take the initiative to reach out to them. So don't feel like, you know, you can't reach out to brands. You definitely can. There is always a way for you to find out their PR emails. Usually it's at the bottom of their website. And also, guys, I have a little ebook. I'll show you a picture of it right here. I'll link it down below. I'm going to share with you doll babies. I think I listed like 20 to 25 brands that I personally work with that I know work with small creators. So I'm going to share that with you guys. So if you're looking for businesses to reach out to, check out my email list down below and reach out to them. There's all kinds of brands on there. There's beauty, fashion, vacation, all of that. So check it out. If you're looking to, you know, reach out to brands and start making money as a small creator. So you don't have to have a big following to make money on YouTube. Now, I just reached 2K and it literally took me three years to get to 2K subs. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, ask me. A lot of people ask me all the time. 
Are you monetized? Are you monetized? Heck no. I'm not monetized yet. But I, I know it'll come. But I'm working on my watch hours. That's the only thing that's holding me back from being monetized, child. And I'm trying to get it. Maybe. I'm hoping this year. <laughs> but no, I'm not monetized. So my money on YouTube comes from collaborations and sponsorships. From working with brands one-on-one. -on -one. Not through YouTube monetization. Uh, I'm, please. <laughs> I cannot wait. Please, Lord. Let me get there. But yeah, definitely not monetized. But... I didn't think that I could work with brands because I was such a small creator. I was, oh, I'm older, I'm plus size, but none of that has stopped your girl growth. So if you are a small creator and you want to figure out like, how can I work with these big brands? You just have to put yourself out there, make quality content, show up each week, be consistent, be your authentic self. That's it. There's really no equation. There's really no equation to it. I researched, research, looked at all these YouTubers telling you how you can, you know, make money on YouTube. They were saying a lot, but saying nothing. Mm. Making you feel like, oh, it's got to be some top secret to how I can show up and get paid and get monetized and get views. There's no equation. They all say the same thing, which literally is show up, be yourself. Be consistent. I don't believe in niching down, even though that did help me when I started niching down, but I didn't feel comfortable with just doing fashion. So I started doing beauty, lifestyle, and I have to be honest, my lifestyle reach is not so great. You know, when I do vlogs, the views are low. I mean, it is what it is. But whenever I do a niche down video, fashion or beauty, the views are there. So, I mean, if you want to niche down, it is very helpful. But me personally, I just want to do everything. I do. But I'm going to be honest because y'all know. And I, I do got a shirt on y'all. <laughs> but I'm going to be honest. When I niche down, when I went heavy on just fashion, that's when I started getting the views, the collaborations, the sponsor content is when I niche down. So niching down is very beneficial. It is. Let me, let me, let me not tell you that it's not. It is. If you're looking for, you know, to make money on YouTube, it is important that you kind of niche down for just a little while. Don't don't get stuck in doing something that you're not in love with. If you want to do different things, do different things. I believe in testing it all out on your channel. So for me, I know business talk wasn't for me. Lifestyle vlogs, it, I think I love doing vlogs, and I'm not gonna stop. I think they're great. But my viewers are not yet ready. They're not yet ready because they don't know me. But whenever I do one-on-ones videos, fashion videos, beauty videos, the views are there. So just do what you love. But again, if you're looking to make money, niche down for a little while. Six to eight months. Stick to one niche and do videos just on that niche. Break down those videos. Create you some shorts, some reels. Tag the brand. Make quality content. Make sure it looks good. Phone is good enough, baby. Don't make them feel like you got to go out and buy all these expensive cameras. Today, I'm using my Canon. But, baby, most of the time, I'm on my cell phone. So, don't feel like you got to go out and buy expensive equipment either. Um, what else I want to share with y'all? And then I'm not going to be on here and tell you how to get to 1K subscribers if you're not there yet. Because, this, baby, I watch so many videos on how to get to 1K subs. I could probably write a book <laughs> but I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's just showing up but not the work thumbnails they say is super important okay 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 I'm gonna get out of here because I'm looking at my time I don't want this video to be long but I'm gonna tell you this when I wasn't doing um like highly edited thumbnails I didn't get a lot of views but when I started taking my time and putting together really nice thumbnails I was even getting comments like, wow, your thumbnail looks so good. So thumbnails are important, especially if you're trying to get people's attention. Your title is super important. And when you're doing like fashion hauls or something like that, get to the point. I used to, and I like to talk, I like to talk. I used to talk, 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 and I realized like, damn, it is really hard to keep people's attention. Mine too. I watch a video and I'm fast forwarding it. I, my attention span is so short, child. I think I got ADHD. 
let me stop. <laughs> but my attention span is so short. I, I cannot even watch a movie without being on my cell phone, folding. I just cannot. I don't know what it is. I, I just can't sit through one thing for a very long time. I get anxiety. So if anybody is out there like me, I try to give them the punchline right in the beginning. Hey, bam, we doing a haul with, bam, this is what we got, bam. I try to hit them with it real quick. And to keep them watching my whole video, I usually keep the best for last. So I'll give them the key points up front. I'll throw out the products real quick, cause you, real quick, but I always save the best for last. So anybody that watches my hauls, they know that now, like damn, I already know. Jay gonna wait to the end to give us the best one. So I'm either gonna watch the whole thing or skip to the end. You know, but now my viewers know that if I want to see the best product she got, I'm going to wait to the end. So that's just how I do. But yeah, thumbnails and titles are very important when it comes to getting your views. Now, getting your subscribers, that's all on you, baby. It's all on your personality. If you're being your true, authentic self, giving it to them like you give it to anybody else in your daily life. People pick up on what's genuine. I'm transparent as hell. People tell me all the time. I'm silly, I'm funny, I'm all of that. I'm all of that. And I don't, when I hit record on this, I don't stop and give you this cookie cutter. I'm going to be me shit regardless because I want you to fall in love with me. Not, not like that, but I want y'all to fall in love with me, with my presence, with my personality. I want you to want to show up every time that you see a video because you know you're going to be here for a good goddamn time. So, I always try to be myself. Cussing, I got to work on it, y'all. I got to work on it. But in my everyday life, I cuss. Uh, so it's so hard for me. But when I do a sponsored video, I do try to mind my mouth. But do I give the truth on the products? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not going to give you guys anything that I think is fugazi. The quality isn't quality, you know what I'm saying? The product isn't producting. I'm going to tell you. Don't waste your coin. Anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And then really quick before I go, I literally, last night could not go to sleep because of what I'm going through in my own personal life y'all I was gonna quit I was gonna give up on YouTube because the growth y'all let's be honest <laughs> let's be honest and then I'm gonna get out of here I know I said that but the growth is slow over here for some people if they already had a big following they could get it in the mud real quick I personally wasn't even on social media when I started YouTube I started my Instagram my TikTok and my YouTube the same year. I did not have a following. I had Facebook. And I had my family Instagram. But for my business Instagram, she's so jazzy J. Y'all should go follow me over here. But I started all that at the same time. I didn't have a following. And I kind of wanted to keep my YouTube to myself. I didn't want to share it with all my friends and family. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to grow from scratch. So some people get it out of the mud real quick. Bill. I heard a YouTuber say they got monetization in three months. How? How? And then some of the other YouTubers said it took them six to eight years to have YouTube work for them. That monetization didn't come to them till four years. So I was about ready to give up. But then when I thought about how blessed I've been to work with these big brands, make money on YouTube without even being monetization, I was like, bitch, you must be crazy. We are almost at the halfway point. If it take eight years, we're almost we almost at the halfway point. Why well, give up now? I feel like we're so close. I can grab that bitch. I could grab it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna give up. Even though I felt like I was ready to just throw in the towels. I'm a Capricorn. Don't blame me, baby. If we are about that money, if we don't see progress in a timely manner, guess what? We're pulling out the fucking deal. We're out of there. <laughs> That's just how Capricorns are. We're about business. And if we don't see that it's working for us, we're gone. That's just like my business. It took me a year to see that this is not working out. I'm spending way more money and I'm not making enough money back. I'm going broke. Had to let it go. And then people were like, oh, you always quit. I can't help it. I'm a Capricorn. We quit. We quit. We're moving on to the next thing to figure out how to get to the bag. But I've been blessed to be able to touch that bag. Is it as much as I want? No. But I've been able to touch money. Being a small creator. So it will be absolutely crazy, fugagi, dumb for me to give this up. So this was going to be a whole different video. I was going to sit here and say, guys, I'm done with YouTube. I quit. 
but I freaking love YouTube. Y'all hear me? I freaking love it. I love creating. I love editing. People say they hate editing. I freaking love editing. I love creating thumbnails. I love piecing together, making a movie. I love it. Ain't no way. We, we, we locked in. Ain't no switching up. So if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you, you know, you like lifestyle content, check out your girl. If you like fashion, I have a fashion playlist. I'll link it down below. Beauty hair, all of that. Like I told you, your girl is into everything. Even though my life is kind of crazy right now, I'm going through a lot. In my personal life, we're not going to talk about it on this video. Go check out my vlogs, then you'll understand. But I'm going to keep it going, and I'm going to share resources. I love doing that. Because people will tell you how to do this and how to do that, but don't share it with you. Honestly, they don't. And people didn't like me when I was doing business videos because I was giving a tea. I was giving the um, how to find your um, vendors. I was giving all that stuff for free. People was paying $150 for that stuff. I was giving. Now I ain't. Now I, should, I probably should have sold it. <laughs> but I gave it for free. So I'm going to be sharing some resources with y'all. Again, check out that link below. Check out my ebook. I am going to. Sorry, my camera died. I am going to be dropping, you know, the brands that work with small creators. And I'm going to be dropping some more, you know resources to how you can grow personally as a small creator like myself and how you can get those brand deals i'm going to be giving y'all the emails to send to these people how to pitch them we're going to be doing it together so y'all just check out my description box down below check it out all right bb so let me get out of here because i'm just burning up shall i feel a little better i don't know why it's just so hot but i'm gonna go i just wanted to share that because i literally was about to sit down here and say Easter wrap <laughs> and now I'm highly motivated to keep it going I'm blessed I cannot complain I'm such a small creator and I've been able to touch that bag and I want everybody else to be able to do that too so if you're a small creator make sure you subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be sharing some resources we're gonna get to that bag together child and if anybody you know need help or want to ask me some questions you can always DM me on Instagram at she's so jazzy J. Let me know what you have questions about. Let's work together. Let's get to monetization together. We get, we, we got this. So I'm going to go. Thank y'all for sitting here and talking to me. If you made it this far, you to bomb.com. And if you made it this far, I know you already done hit that subscribe button, baby. I'll wait a second. You saw it? Right there. Got it. And while you, you hit that button, go on and hit the thumbs up too. And since we in the mood for pressing buttons, go down to the comment and say, hey girl, let me know that you're new here. I'll talk back. So let me get the heck out of here, y'all, so I can go cool down my body, touch my body. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> let me get the hell out of here because I'll keep on rambling, y'all already know. And this video has went clearly over 30 minutes and it's supposed to have been a 15 minute video. Well, let me go. How many times I said that? Somebody count how many times I said I'm about to go. And let me know down in the comments. So I'll see you doll babies the next time I upload. Y'all already know the saying. Make sure y'all stay safe. And make sure you stay motherfucking slay. Bye. I look better under you. I can't lose. And I'm with you.